वन डे सेम विल बी दू डे सेम दू डे सेम विल बी दर्ड डे सेम दर्ड डे सेम विल बी दोर्थ डे सेम दिन विल स्टार्ट टू ग्रो एंड ग्रो इन यूर लाइफ सो नाउ अवर बॉडी इज फील्ड इन साइड ऑफ द सेम फिर हमारा जो पूरा बॉडी है वो पूरे पाप में डूबी नॉट नो हाउ टू कम आउट फ्रॉम दैर हमें पता नहीं रहता की उससे बाहर वी आर स्ट्रगलिंग इन सैर ऑफ दिन फाइटिंग विद दिन हम उससे लड़ रहे हाउ कम वी नॉट टू नो हाउ टू ओवरकम दैट वर्ड हम हमें ये भी नहीं पता की हम उस पाप से नॉट नो हाउ टू ओवरकम फ्रॉम दैट वर्ड हमें वो भी नहीं पता की हम सम मोर यंग जनरेशन इज लाइक दैट वे ओनली राइट नाउ कुछ जवान जनरेशन भी ऐसी हो सो मेनी यंग जनरेशन बहुत सारे जवान दे टेस्टेड द सीन इन वन डे जो सीन वो लोग फील करते हैं आफ्टर दैट उसके बाद एवरी डे हर दिन दे स्टार्ट टू डू द सेम सीन एवरी डे इन देयर लाइफ वो हर दिन वही पाप करने लग जाते हैं जो माय डियर सिस्टर्स मेरी बहन आई वांट टू शेयर वन थिंग विद यू मैं तुमसे एक बात शेयर इफ यू डन वन डे सीन अगर तुम एक दिन में कोई गलती कर यू विल डू द सेम सीन अगेन एंड अगेन The sin will enter and fill inside of your body. वो पाप तुम्हारे जीवन में पूरा भर जाएगा. You will start to live in the sin. और तुम उस पाप में रहने लगोगे. Then you not live. और तुम नहीं छोड़ोगे. You not live. The sin will live inside. और पाप तुम्हारे. And you will live inside of the sin. और तुम पाप करने. And the sin will guide you. और पाप तुम्हारे. And the sin will teach you. और पाप तुम्हारे. And sin will say what you want to do. और पाप तुमसे पूछेगा तुम्हें क्या करना. You want to be addicted in that sin. और तुम addicted हो जाओ the sin start to control your life और वो पाप तुम्हारे जीवन को control it will start to control your life और वो control when it start to control your life और जब वो पाप तुम्हारे जीवन को your life not be in your control तो तुम्हारा life तुम्हारे हाथों में नहीं because who is controlling your life क्योंकि कौन तुम्हारा the sin is controlling your life तुम्हारा पाप तुम्हारे so your natural habit तो जो तुम्हारे जो नेचुरल हैबिट है इट विल मूव फ्रॉम योर लाइफ वो तुम्हारे जीवन से हट जाएंगे योर नेचुरल लाइफ और तुम्हारे जो इट्स मूव फ्रॉम योर लाइफ वो तुम्हारे लाइफ से बिकॉज यू आर इन सर्व अ सिन फॉर लाइफ क्योंकि तुम्हारे जीवन में पाप रह गया है हाउ द सिन इज कमिंग इन सर्व अ लाइफ और वो पाप कैसे आ रहा है तुम्हारे जीवन बाय द वन डे सिन वो एक सिन की वजह से इट्स मूविंग इन योर लाइफ एवरी डे इन योर लाइफ और वो एक पाप की वजह से तुम्हारा पूरा जीवन सो डू नॉट टेस्ट द सिन इन योर लाइफ एक दिन में भी वो पाप मत करना व्हेन यू टेस्ट द सिन इन योर लाइफ और वो पाप को चखना मत इट विल स्टार्ट टू फॉलो योर लाइफ वो तुम्हारे मतलब पाप तुम्हारे जीवन इट्स लाइक अ शैडो वो एक शैडो की व्हेन यू वॉक इन द सन जब तुम सन में चल व्हेन यू वॉक इन द सन जब धूप आती है तुम चल द शैडो विल फॉलो यू तो तुम्हारी परछाई तुम्हें फॉलो डिड यू सी दैट वन अभी देखा व्हेन यू वॉक इन द सन द शैडोस विल स्टार्ट टू फॉलो यू जो परछाई है तुम्हारे साथ-साथ चलती सिन इज लाइक दैट Wherever you go, where you go, the sin will travel with you. When you go to your room, the sin will travel to that. When you go to your school, the sin will travel to that. When you go for your college, the sin will travel with that. Wherever you go, the sin will travel with you. Who is the sin? The devil. Devil only bring that sin. When you start to do the sin, जब तुम पाप करना शुरू करो, they will they will start to work in your life. तो शैतान तुम्हारे जीवन में काम करना शुरू करो. Everyone has matured here. तो यहाँ पे जितने भी हैं सब matured. I think you are understanding what I'm talking with you. तुम समझ रहे हो जो मैं बात कर रहा हूँ. Because I'm talking about your life. क्योंकि मैं तुम्हारे जीवन के. Your life is so precious one. तुम्हारी life बहुत कीमती. It's so precious one. ये बहुत कीमती. Do you know why? Because God has given the life for you. क्योंकि प्रभु ने तुम्हारे लिए जीवन दिया. You God has given the life for you. तो प्रभु ने तुम्हारे लिए जीवन दिया. You know why God gave the life? तुम्हें पता है क्यों? To live a holy life. क्योंकि तुम्हें पवित्र लाइफ जीना. To live a righteous life. एक धन्य लाइफ जीना. To come to the heavenly kingdom. स्वर्ग राज्य. That's why God gave the life. तभी प्रभु ने तुम्हें जीवन दिया. In the end age. In the end age, people will do the most sin. Because, because they will think more thing in their life. They will think more thing instead of their life. They want to work more things in their life. They will not work as a normal person. Because the young people work more than a normal person. क्योंकि जो जो जवान लड़के हैं वो जवान लड़के लड़के इन दिस इन एज 
You can run. You can jump. You can do everything. You are liking a flying in your sky. Like a butterfly, no? Like a butterfly. We think that we are flying. But we are not flying. Just we are walking only. But the sin is making us, we are like thought that we are flying. So your life is more valuable one. More than your food. More than your dress. More than your money. More than your education. More than that. Your life is more valuable one. Why? Because when you die, in this world, you cannot take anything from this world. You cannot take anything from the world. Only one thing, if your life is holy, your soul will return back to the God. If your life is not holy, your life will not return back to the God. Why God put in here? God want to teach you something. You are many India sitting in here. From the Bengal. From the Mumbai. From different places. From the Nepal. You people are different places. You are sitting in here. For one purpose. To build the heavenly kingdom. For to build the heavenly kingdom. God has put here without the purpose God will not bring me bring you in from here did you think that one did you think that one without the plan of the God you cannot be here because God has a plan by you God want to change your family by you God want to change the situation. By you, God want to bless your family. Because God want to bless you. I don't know what is the situation of your family. I don't know what is the background of your family. I don't know what is happening in your family. But right now I know you. You are the children of the God. By you, God want to do something. God want to do something. That's for your family. That's for your friends. For anyone, God want to use you people. So that God brought in this place. Because you want to learn from, from the God. You want to be in the hands of the God. Your life won't be in the hands of the God. When your life is in the hands of the God, your life will be changed. Your life will be changed. I will share one story from the Bible. Then the chapter of the Luca 10, 38 to 42, the story of a Martha and the Mary. A story of a Martha and Mary. How many know the story of a Martha and Mary? Do you know the story of the Martha and Mary? From the Bible? So, okay, no problem. I can share with you people. One day Jesus came to a village. One day Jesus came to a village. And Jesus came to a home. The home belongs to that Martha. When Jesus came to the home, Martha opened the door for the God. When Jesus entered in the mortal home, and Martha have a sister, her name is called Mary. Two sisters. One is Martha. One is the Mary. Two sisters are there. Martha have a sister. She is, her name is called Mary. When Jesus entered in the Martha home, Martha went to the kitchen. She started to do the work in the kitchen. But the Mary sit in the feet of the God. 
He was sitting in the feet of the God. And he, she start to hear what is God is talking in her life. She not went to the kitchen. Because she know that what Jesus is speaking. I want to hear that one. I want to apply in my life. It will change my life. She knows what is more important. So she was sitting in near to the Jesus. But the Martha is in the kitchen. She got a lot of disturbed. She came back to the Jesus. She started to complain with the Jesus. See my sister. My, she, my sister name is called Mary. I am working in the kitchen. But she is sitting with you. She is not helping me. What Jesus spoke to the Martha. She spoke to the Martha. Martha, Martha, you are busy in there, but your sister sitting with me, she choose the best one. She was choosing the best one. The Bible says, the 41, the Luke chapter 10, 41 says, I'll read in English. Martha, 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 the Lord answered, you are worried and upset about many things, but few things are needed or in need. Only one, Mary has chosen what is better. The Mary choose what is better. In your life, you want to choose what is the better one. You want to think what I want to do. How to improve my life? How I want to go to my next level? I don't want to be in this condition. They will want to be put in this condition. I don't want to be in this condition. I want to change my life. I want to come up from everything. What are the problems I am facing? God want to help me. One day one man prayed to the God. He prayed to the God. God give me the strength. God answered to him. He gave the strength. When the, when the strength came in his life. Problem also come in his life. To overcome the problem. God gave the strength. What you are facing right now. What problem you are facing right now. God will give the strength to you. And second he prayed. God give me the courage. Give me the courage. Give me the courage. When he prayed to the God. God gave the courage to him. At the same time. Some dangerous situation came. He overcome from the dangerous situation. Because the courage. Give the power to overcome the dangerous situation. And he asked the wisdom. He asked the wisdom. When he asked the wisdom to the God, God gave the wisdom to him to solve his problem. To solve his problem. God gave the wisdom to solve his problem. When you ask the wisdom to the God, what are the problems you are facing? You can overcome from that. Because God can solve the problem by you people. What your family is facing? By you. God can solve that one. What's the situation right you are living? Your family living? It will not live like that. It will change. Because you are the main source. God will use you to change your family. You can do it that one. And the fourth he asked. God give me the love to me. Give the love to me. God give the love to him. Who give the problem to him? 
who hate him who neglected him who criticize him who give every bad things to him to love the people who give the problem to you love that people who criticize you love that people who done the bad things to you love that people this is the fourth thing he prayed god give the solution for the four things so if god can give to him god can give to you it's possible but you want to sit in the presence of the god mary sit in the presence of the god when mary sit in the presence of the god she choose the right word 